For years, we've heard all about what the politicians call reducing our dependence on foreign oil, but so far, that dependence really doesn't show any sign of decreasing. All the presidents have said it, nothing ever seems to really get done. Well, a serious effort to cut down on using it is being made right where most of the world's oil is produced. That, of course, is the Middle East. ABC's Alex Marquardt reports from Tel Aviv. Our dependence on oil, the bane of our existence. Oh, how we resent it. An electric future, electrifying, big three hybrids, man, will survive, will be green. I think this is fantastic. Meet a man with a solution, Shai Agassi. In a sense, if you want to think about it, this is the classic batteries not included. He's been dubbed the electric car prophet. It has to be something that scales in mass, not how do you build one car, but how do you scale this so that it can become something that is used by 99% of the population. For the past few years, he's been on list after list of the most influential, most innovative entrepreneurs in the world. His company is Better Place. Their product, powering electric cars. Their vision, a world without oil. We basically came out to a solution that has the ability to both charge your car when you're parked at home and it works, so you're always coming into a full tank, and switch your, your battery when you're going on the freeway, longer distance than the battery. If your battery's dying and you still have a ways to go, you pull up to a switch station. The battery goes in and out. Uh, it's supposed to take as long as it would to normally fill up a gas tank. And you don't own the battery, so the car's around $10,000 cheaper. You just pay for the energy you use. When you buy a gasoline car, nobody asks you to buy 10,000 gallons with it. You shouldn't ask somebody to buy the equivalent of 10,000 gallons of driving in the form of a battery. Agassi is rolling out his electric car network in Israel, a country surrounded by oil-rich, less-than-friendly neighbors. When you come in and you say, I'd like to end uh, the oil era, nobody says why. They say, could you do it faster? Better Place is creating a network in Australia, in Japan with taxis, and Denmark, where gas is around $8 a gallon. They've signed deals with Hawaii and San Francisco. But many doubt the model is possible in the states. I think Israel is about the size of New Jersey. Even Northern California, it would be very, very hard to blanket that with the kind of battery changing stations that we need. Agassi's just asking for a shot. Give me seven days of gasoline use in the U.S., which is about $8 billion. And we can cover the entire country with the same network and get the U.S. off of oil. But American car companies haven't shown much interest in better place, despite a potentially enormous offer. We're happy to place an order, $3 billion, $5 billion order to an American car maker and have, uh, have a car like that made. Any, any of the American car makers. Who's... And they're aware that you're willing to give them $3, 5000000000 billion? Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we've, we've talked to all of them. And... and yet you're not getting any bites from American car companies? Not yet. At the Better Place headquarters in an old oil depot, large curious crowds come pouring through every day to see Agassi's vision of an oil-free future. This is the field of dreams, right? If you build it, they will come. We didn't know if people will show up. But they are. They are showing up, and they're signing up, and they're buying cars. Alex Marquardt in Tel Aviv. I think this is such a brilliant idea, and you're seeing it slowly creep into America with the Chevy Volt, the Nissan Leaf. We're getting there. It's just going to take years and years. Got to go more than 100 miles, though, for me to buy in at that point. Save the what environment. What a good idea. Power.